Next Saturday marks the anniversary of the end to a war that many Canadians fought in but few know much about, the Korean War. More than 500 Canadian soldiers died in the conflict. Thousands more came back to find their contribution to the UN force passed virtually unnoticed. Tonight, Dan Bjarnason remembers Canada's forgotten war. You know, mud and hills, that's what I recall mostly. The first thing that flashes in my mind, uh, really, is that I got wounded over there. When something in the order of over 500 shells fell on a company position uh, that night in a matter of about three hours. Misty glimpses into a war Canada fought a half a world away 40 years ago. 27,000 Canadians went to Korea, about twice as many as landed at the Normandy beaches, almost six times as many as served in the Gulf. This so-called forgotten war in Korea is still very much alive in the memories of the men who actually fought there, veterans who now live in retirement in places like Vernon in British Columbia. They sent a contingent out just to observe our uh, training program. They're mostly in their 60s now, and the talk turns more to mortgages than to mortars. Well, that's mortgage heights up there. <laughs> I was at Sunset Estate that's the other day. And that's... We gathered a group together to get a feel for this Asian war that many Canadians have never heard of. Bob Casement. And I heard this bomb coming in. I hit the ground just about the same time it hit the ground, and uh, it, uh, well, I got pretty well plastered with with shrapnel, all this, this leg and this side and that hand and arm. Mike Pushkarnk was in the Armored Corps. The war that his nose fought in Korea is his most vivid wartime memory. To me, it's the smell of the country that has traveled 50 miles out at sea. <laughs> it's a bit different in the Orient. They use different type of fertilizers. Jerry Richard, an infantry officer, recalls how Canadian troops at the front swapped liquor with U.S. troops in exchange for superior American weapons. One of our sergeants, who later won a DCM, uh, went back. He wanted a 50 caliber, so he took a couple of bottles of gin back and he came back with a 50 caliber with, a, oh, hundreds of rounds of ammunition. So it worked very well. <laughs> so you guys that have the booze? Yeah. Americans that have the guns, yeah. and you'd make an arrangement. Oh, absolutely. Don Ardelian was an infantry sergeant, later commissioned an officer. He was as tough a frontline soldier as you'd find anywhere. His most lasting impression of Korea? The children, little, little orphan kids that were amongst us and in, in the back areas, in some cases in the forward areas. Uh, these uh, little boys and girls of every given age endeavoring to survive from today until tomorrow.